Hello everybody, it is 5.50, April the 4th, and I'm going to get me some shut eye here in just a second. I just want to share something with you guys. Um, I went in the store to get me a cinnamon bun thing <coughs> for a little snack before I lay down, and uh, I seen another uh, black brother, um, a fellow truck driver, and uh, he was over there doing something around the coffee, I think he's getting a cup of coffee or something. But uh, he was wearing all blue, and uh, I went over there, I was looking at the ice cream going, should I, or sh I should And then the newspaper stand was right by it, and I glanced at it like this. He goes, is there any good news? I said, I don't like to even look at it. I said, I know what's going on. I said, I don't need to read that. I said, they're just lying to you. He goes, I know too. And uh, we, he he was saying basically the same thing as me. And uh, I said, these are the end days. He goes, oh, you're right about that, man. He, he goes, yeah, you're right. These are the end days. He goes, I can also see who's got the light in them too. And those that don't. And I said, you know, you're right. You can tell those who are aware. You know, and when you really look at, at people, you can see it. And he's going, yeah. He goes, I can tell who is and who isn't. And he's saying that there's, there's few of us. There's not a whole lot of us. It's not that difficult to see. Those that are even asleep and uh, not paying attention. Because we're standing out like a sore thumb and we're looking like, yeah, we're waiting for something to happen any moment, you know? But we don't have that spirit of fear. Now, I've always talked about that um, the beginning of knowledge is to have fear with of our God, our Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But we also know that His love is greater for us, therefore we love Him. But uh, anyhow, you know, we were talking about that and I said, you know, um, God created us in His image. And a lot of people think it's our flesh, you know, that our flesh reflects His image. But really, it's our spirit. And he's going, yeah, that's what he sees. He's, he was saying he can see those that have the spirit. It's not about the color of our skin, but the spirit that's in us. And that's what's going to be, you know, when we leave, our spirits are going to be there with the Father. And we're all created in his image, but our spirit. And people have that so confused today. But uh, anyhow, the garage where I went and got my thing fixed, I had something telling me, you know, because other people are saying, man, I'm busy for days, I, you know, I can take a look at it, but everybody charges just to look at it. And then uh, everybody was too busy, and then they said, you can take it to the dealership, you know, and then I called this one, it was like 26, 30 miles away. And, uh, and he was saying what it probably was, and he said, those belts aren't designed, they should last on your vehicle forever. And he goes, if the belt went, he goes, there's something wrong with one of the tension pulley wheels or something, which it was. The pulley wheel went bad, the bearing's gone, and it burnt that belt up. But anyhow, something was telling me, take it there, take it there. Even though it cost extra to tow it there, and this guy, I told him, I need it fixed today, and he did. We got it out there, and uh, it cost extra to get it there, and... Uh, I mean, this guy took great care of it right away. I had the oil changed while it was there, so I mean, he even got extra work. And I thought the price was really good. He got the whole thing fixed uh, for like, what was it? $250, $250 to fix the pulley wheel and it, new bearings and um, new belt for $250. And then um, it cost me 50 for the towing, but then, um, I had the oil changed too, because that was due. So I got all that done for like 298, something like that. And uh, I mean, I was really, really pleased with their service. But the address um, was, get this, the address, remember I told you I've been seeing eights a lot? Well, I seen 88, 88, a lot. And I've been seeing it even driving down the roads, 888 on, on semi trucks. But uh, a lot, even last night, the night before, a lot. Now, look at this when I pulled in here. This is where I'm going to get some rest right now. But look at the uh, the numbers on the top. 
and on the bottom. Can you see that? Where it says 2088, the 88. That was the address where I had to get the truck fixed. Then if you look at the bottom, 227779. See, now the nine sticks out to me because Daniel was always saying there's something about the nines. And me, I've always seen the three sevens now for years. I've been seeing those triple sevens and uh, the 88s a lot. But uh, as he was saying, you know, the time it is getting, it's getting easier for us to see. Like it says in Daniel's 12, 10, the wicked will continue doing wickedly and they won't understand and they don't. I mean, they literally, they don't know what they're doing. A lot of them think they're doing it for the one world order, you know. They think that. But though we who are wise, we know it's the devil doing it for destroying souls, including their soul. And because uh, he's always said that they were unworthy. And, you know, now they've, they've proven that to be right because they what they've done. They've turned their back on people. They use people all for greed, lust, whatever in the world. and But they truly believe what they're doing is right in their own minds. Okay? They don't, they're not really aware. The Bible even says it. The wicked will continue doing wickedly, but they won't understand. They won't understand. And they truly probably believe that they're doing the right thing, this one world order, which it's not true. It's only about souls. But it, it, in the same breath, it also says, the wise will understand. We know perfectly well why, what's going on. And, as that guy told me, we stand out among each other. We do. We stand out. I glanced at that paper. I didn't pick it up or nothing. You know, I just looked at what the headline was. And I can't even remember what it was, to tell you the truth, because, you know, I just glanced at it. But, uh, yeah, I don't trust what they say anymore. I trust what I see. And I trust what I've read in the Bible. And I and I believe we're at that time. Something's getting ready to happen. I know it's like, I've been, I felt strong about May, okay? We're in it. Other people were saying, well, there's a lot of signs in April too. And I'm like, well, you know, it could, it could happen. You know, I'm not gonna say it is or isn't, but I've always felt stronger about May or the beginning of June, you know? But I do know 2017 is it this is it and it's gonna happen like any moment that's what I've been saying any moment it's gonna happen my dreams showed me that with the second hand on that golden triangle when I was in Columbus Mississippi it just happened to be the golden triangle and it's the 44th district you know and that's where I was when I had that dream about the beacon signal going off and in, in Michigan and then it turns out this truck was there you guys seen that when I pointed to my palm of my hand where that beacon signal was? That spirit went right to it. Like this is where he wanted me. I know these days are over, but like I said, this provides for me to, like that guy, you know, even though he was fully aware of the time, as I am, I could tell talking to him, he's fully aware. There was nothing that I needed to convince him. <laughs> but I still showed him those spirits, how they were coming in and out of me, and he goes, he goes, let me get out of here. And I said, well, I said, I just want you to know that the spirits are going in and out of us right now. And I said, you can tell by those that are doing really wicked, mean, and evil things um, that aren't nice, you know. I, I said, those are the, there's the different spirits. There's the spirits that you were just talking about where we can see one another. Then there's that other spirit that you're fully aware of. And he goes, you're right. You know, that's what they they look like going in and out of our bodies. We The Lord has provided that to be seen, okay? Because these are the last days, the veil's being lifted. We who are wise, the Lord doesn't want us to be ignorant at these last moments. He doesn't want you to be ignorant. And is that what we're gonna look like, some little white stuff? No, we're gonna look, when we're in that realm, we're gonna look like we do like people but we're gonna have better stronger bodies um, we're gonna be more healthier fit I'll have a full head of hair 
You know what I mean? It's going to be great. Um, somebody also mentioned once about the horses, the white horses that we come back on and stuff, that we end up keeping those horses forever. And they're like flying horses. You know, but the kingdom is so big and awesome, man, we can't even fathom it. And the beauty. That's why the devil was telling uh, God that we were unworthy. That we weren't worthy for uh, what he created to give us this. And he said they're not worthy. But little did the devil know, God created everything including him for his purpose. And that was to weed out. You know, you know how we weed out stuff? We go in and we weed out what's bad? Well, that's exactly what the devil's doing. He's doing exactly what he was created to do. You know, even though he didn't understand. You know, but the wise will understand. Um, we don't understand everything, but I know once we get there where we're going. Um, God, when we have our new eternal bodies... It's uncorruptible. That's what the Word of God says. It'll be uncorruptible. These bodies are corruptible. Okay? Our spirit is going to get a new eternal body that's uncorruptible. But we're going to be cleansed in our new bodies. And it's going to be for eternity. You know, it's going to be a beautiful thing. But anyhow, I wanted to share that with you guys. I just looked down and I seen that. And then with that other guy that I was sharing with, um, the other black brother in there truck driver and my mileage when I looked down and I seen that and I pulled in here and I was thinking about Daniel McNeil saying something about the nines and ever since he said the nines it's like you know they've been popping up I've been seeing them more just like my sevens I always see the sevens and uh, then I get that nine confirmation behind it with the double eights and the place the shop that I went today to fix, let me show you. I'll just show it to you, just show it to you. So you'll know. This is where I had it fixed. See the double eights? You can see it, huh? Eight eight. That's why I say when I look down at that and I seen the eight eight, and I seen the twenty two seven 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 with the nine, I went, I said, this is like awesome. You know? That's why Jesus said, watch. He said, watch. And that's what we're supposed to do, you guys. Watch. Okay? Don't let anybody mislead you. You guys got signs happening around you, too. You don't have to watch just for my signs. You have them popping up around you all the time. Why? Because the Lord wants to show you things. But he said to watch. We have to watch. Okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to crawl back into... <laughs> this thing here and get a little sleep anyhow God bless you guys I love each and every one of you and uh, no we don't have much time okay time is at hand okay God bless y'all and I hope and pray that you guys get something out of this video as you do all the videos okay